You know, Hunts for Heroes is, you know, it's, it's real dear to my heart. It was we're, we want to give back to, you know, men and women of the armed forces that, you know, have given so much for us. And then as a result, you know, their service get a disability. I mean, I had a great time today with uh, Kim. Kim took us out. We went scouting and it was, it was kind of really cool to see the animals. I mean, I can't believe, I didn't realize how big, how big these animals are. Uh, Hunts for Heroes was started in 2015. Uh, when the Arizona Department of Fish and Game decided to uh, allow disabled veterans who meet a certain criteria to uh, have tags donated to a qualifying organization uh, to go on big game hunts. I used to be an avid hunter and I was trying to replace bad memories with something good and I googled uh, hunting in Arizona for handicapped veterans and Hunts for Heroes came up It's like almost like I said when I meet a, see a friend that I haven't seen in 10 years, you just kick right back in where the conversation left off the last time you saw him. It brings me back to a time um, that I could do things that I wanted because that was my uh, hunting or archery or fishing was my go-to to try to decompress. I was injured in 2009. It wasn't until 2017 that I had the opportunity to go with a structured group we have a lot of what we call aha moments. You know, one of the first one of the first ones we had four different veterans come into one. We rented a house because we had the guys were beat up pretty bad, and we wanted them to keep them comfortable. And it was kind of in the area where they were all hunting, so we had four guys come in for a hunt, and they all came in pretty quiet, did their own thing. You know, didn't really associate with everybody. By the time they left, they were hugging and crying and just thrilled to death. I'm going to tell you that. It's the most rewarding thing I've ever done in my life. 